Hey everyone, I wanted to illustrate how to get multiple files out of Adobe Audition. A lot of people have their individual WAV file that's in Audition and they want to break it up for e-learning or any type of slides. They will receive the, a voiceover, huge voiceover file and they'll need to break that up. And a lot of times the process is very time consuming because if you uh, have to copy the the clip into the individual um, tracks, it can take a lot of time to break that up. And by exporting, um, creating a multi-session and then exporting individual separate files uh, with marker ranges, this gives you a lot more uh, degree of control over exporting that file. So I'm going to show you how to do that. So one of the most important things is you got to understand that there's markers in Adobe Audition and that um, you can set uh, marker ranges or range um, ranges inside of the um, timeline here up here at the scrubber and this is very critical because this will enable you to create um, a multi-session and then export those individual files over so these instructions are available down below um, so let's get started you can either record inside of Audition by using the record functions. I created a simple countdown here, or you can actually bring in the file. And the way that you want to bring in a file, your WAV file, let's say that you receive back from the VO, um, your, your, your talent, your voiceover talent, you want to come up here to the top and go to File, Import, Import File, and then I imported the countdown that I created actually in Audition. At that point, I'm going to go ahead and um, limit, delete these markers so that I can illustrate how to um, put them in. So I want to come up here at the top and I want to create a new marker. I'm going to first do it by selecting this little eye, um, this uh, icon here. Again, you need the marker window opened up, the marker panel. So if you go under Windows Marker, you can see that there. I'm going to scrub over here at the beginning and I'm going to select this little icon, add Q marker. Then I'm going to come up here at the top and I'm going to right click that and I'm going to convert to range. Once I convert it to a range, I'm good to go from there. There, I'm going to just drag it over and then I'm done with that marker at that point. Um, I'm going to scrub back over to this side here and this time I'm going to select create a marker by just selecting the letter M on the keyboard. And then right click that marker up at the top, convert to range, drag it over. Scrub over here to the top, select M again. That creates another marker and then convert to range there and then scrub that over. Now here at this point, we want to um, select this little icon here, this uh, export audio of selected range markers to separate files. It's grayed out, that's not available. The way that uh, we need to make get that available is we wanna select all the markers, shift select them, and then come up to multi-track mix down session to new file and then go to entire session and this brings up a new session here so i'm going to go ahead and um, export those individual files from this new session again that's uh, multi-track mix down session to entire session and that gets us to this point this individual file so now that i'm going to i'm going to select all these markers here and i want to close some of the gaps so i'm going to Go to this little icon that's three over in the marker panel, merge selected mar merge selected markers. Um, and that really doesn't merge them as much as it does is close the gaps. And then within this mix down here is when I want to go ahead and clean up some of the dead space. I'm just click dragging inside of my um, timeline and I'm just deleting. You notice how the markers stay intact. They don't they all stay combined. That little tool over here, uh, merge selected markers, enables that. Then I'm going to delete a few more things here. And this is where you can also add effects or change your volume and other things to that matter. Once you're here at this point, you can go to multi-track. Um, actually, um, let's select these markers here. And I think we're ready to export them. And I'm going to use this little icon here that's five over. Export audio of selected range markers to separate files. Select that. I'm going to add my prefix. I'm going to tell it where I want it to go. I'm just going to a file on my folder on my desktop called audio, and then I'm going to hit export. And then if I look at that um, folder there, I can see that the three clips are now exported in on my desktop. 
that's it. Thanks for watching. Again, the instructions are down below if you need to follow those.